Hey guys, it's Lisa from ToCreateWebsite.com and today I'm going to show you how to install a premium WordPress theme for the first time. If you've been using some of the free provided themes, then to change your theme all you have to do is go into your WordPress control panel, click install themes, and then you can search through these themes. Like for example, if you want a blue theme, you can just select blue and then click find themes and then WordPress will come up with blue themes and then if you want to install a certain theme you just click install and you're ready to go but if you have a premium theme that maybe you've purchased like thesis then you'll have to go through a few extra steps to get it working and so that's what this video is about so very elementary for probably most of you guys but there have been people that have been asking me to do this video so the first thing that you'll want to do is make sure that you have an FTP account with your web host this is free to set up. If you have a standard Linux Windows web hosting platform, all you do is log into your hosting account and create an FTP account. And you know, feel free to email your host if you can't figure out how to do that. So once you've done that, then you'll need to download an FTP program. FTP stands for File Transfer Protocol, and it's basically the process of uploading local files from your files from your local computer up to your web host. That's all it means. I use Fire FTP because I'm using the Firefox browser and I love this client because you don't have to close your browser in order to use it. Now there's another great free FTP program out there. It's called FileZilla. It's a standalone client so you'll have to run it separately like you would any other program. But in this video I'm going to do I'm going to use Fire FTP. So if you're interested in learning how to get Fire FTP, all you do is go to tools sorry add-ons and then you're gonna type fire FTP and it's not coming up for me because I already have it installed but it would show up here and then you say add to Firefox and then follow the directions okay so once you do that then you'll have an icon under your tools menu for fire FTP I've actually customized my toolbar here and then I've moved the icon over here so I have a little shortcut since I use this so much so to open Fire FTP, all I do is have to click this and just like that, it's ready to go. I love this client, guys, much better than FileZilla in my opinion, but you know, everybody uses what they like. So the first thing you're going to do is open up your program and you are going to need to create your FTP account inside the client. Now remember, you've already created an account on your hosting platform, so now you're going to insert that username and password into here. So the first thing you're going to do is say create an account and then you're going to type in ftp.yourdomain.com and then your login and password is going to be your um, username and password that you set up at your hosting account. Okay. So once you've done all that you hit OK and then you, you go to your account profile whatever you named it and then you say connect. And so now you're connected to your host. On the left side here you've got your local hard drive and then on the right side you've got your web host. So you may, notice I'm in the public HTML folder, you may have to, if you're in the root, you may have to double click public HTML depending on what your host uses. Some, some hosts use HTML so you may have to click around before you find the root folder and if you don't know what the the folder that uh, your files are stored in then you can ask your hosting account but many hosts use public HTML okay so let's assume you've downloaded thesis or whatever theme that you're using whatever premium theme you have so the first thing you're gonna do is navigate to that folder on your computer and I've got mine on the desktop and it's called thesis underscore 18 which stands for thesis this is version 1.8 so I've highlighted it and now I want to upload the theme to my WordPress folder. So over on the right side, this is my server, my web host, I've got to find my WordPress theme folder. Well, I have my blog installed in a subdomain called blog. So my blog is located in a folder called blog. If you have your WordPress blog located on the root of your domain, then all you have to do is look for WP content, then themes, and then you're in the right folder now. So this is where all of your WordPress themes are stored. 
I have quite a few because I've tested quite a few themes over the years. But thesis, that's my current uh, theme right now. I renamed my folder back to thesis, but it doesn't matter. So let's go back over to the left. This is your computer. So now you're going to upload this entire folder to your themes folder. Notice the path. You want to make sure you're in your themes folder, otherwise this won't work. So you're going to click your, your thesis folder and click the right arrow and in just a few seconds this is going to upload thesis 1.8 to your themes folder okay now you see over here there's the folder so now you're ready to activate this theme in your wordpress control panel so let's go back over to wordpress and right now your blog may look something well maybe not like this but you may whatever theme you have you can see your current theme right now, right? So you're going to go back over to Appearance, Themes. And what you should see now is Thesis 1.8 or whatever new theme you just uploaded. So now what you're going to do is say Activate. Okay, so it says Nicely Done, Thesis 1.8 is ready to rock. Take a moment to browse around. And so now you can check out your site. So let's hit Refresh. And now your theme should change to the thesis theme and it did now this is not very customized right it doesn't have where where are all the pretty graphics or whatnot now look at this message it says in order to take advantage of all the controls that thesis offers you need to change the name of your custom sample folder to custom so let's go back to our FTP program and let's click through our thesis folder and see this is the folder that they're talking about here it says custom sample right so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna right click that folder and I'm gonna say rename and I'm gonna take off the hyphen sample and delete it and say enter and now I have the custom folder this is a very important folder because this is where all your all of your customization for thesis takes place here's your CSS file your layout CSS file that you really shouldn't have to edit this is the main file that you will be editing but you don't have to edit it from here you can edit it right in your control panel so I'm gonna hit F5 to refresh this and that message should go away now and it did not oh <laughs> sorry guys I know why I didn't I'm this is a local version of my uh, thesis um, blog and this is my live version so I was using my live version to demonstrate the FTP portion of it so that's why that message didn't go away so this will go away and then to start editing your custom CSS file for thesis you're gonna go over to custom file editor under thesis and okay I'm still getting that message because I haven't changed it locally but what you'll get is a basically you will see the code for your CSS file and this is where you start making your customizations for thesis now of course you can also make customizations very easily by going to the design options panel and this is where you choose your colors and all of the nice shortcuts that thesis offers but if you want to do some custom customizations you know and make your blog stand out and look different from everybody else's that's when the CSS comes into play and you'll have to edit your custom CSS file and I will I would highly 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 recommend that you go over to the DIY themes forums because that's where I learned a lot about how to change things for my current blog how to add a background how to change my header and fortunately thesis 1.8 now has a very easy header image uploader but um, if you want to do things beyond the basic layout obviously you don't want your blog to look this plain and drab um, you definitely want to want to go over to the forums to get some advice there because it really helped me when I first installed thesis so I hope this helps you guys. Um, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.